Hey there guys, Nintendo Capri Sun here, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario 2. In the last episode, we had just arrived at Twilight Town, a bunch of people got turned into pigs, we picked up some keys in the forest, and that led us here to this treasure chest that we suspect is going to curse us just like the other ones did. Come on, you know how ridiculous you sound right now? I'm laughing in here. You honestly think I'm going to curse you when I get out? Curse you? Well, I did plan on doing something to you, but it's not so much a curse as a, well, a really wonderful new ability that will allow you to go to special places. Doesn't that sound nice? Mario needs a moment to deliberate. Just like last time. Mm, so pretty, pretty, please. I'm begging you, please. Pretty, pretty, please. Oh, thank goodness, you're going to let me out. Oh, happy day. Wee! Fools! How did I know? How did I know? Uh, how did I know? What were you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady would poop out or something? I thought that was going to say... Now I'm going to hit you with the king of curses, the cursiest curse ever. Fear my terrible power. You will know the pain of having your body roll up. Be cursed. Actually, that would kind of hurt. Mm, uh, yikes. <laughs> you won't even be able to walk. Gee, can you be any more graphic here? Oh, what, you want me to show you now? Well, yeah, basically now you hold R. Rotate the stick, and you turn into this. Turn into a donut. Wee! Your pathetic misery thrills me to the core. You must roll around like a silly cardboard tube. Like a toilet paper tube, you know, in the bathroom. Oh, how you'll be laughed at. Now, do you understand the depth of your own agony? Wait, no! Shit! You blithering nincompoop! I... I... Duh... Alright, seriously. I, un I understand. Press B to return to normal. Don't forget, mush brain. Hey, I'm not the mush brain. That, was, that would be Prince... Never mind. Wait a minute, Prince Mush? Is he actually called... Wait a minute, wait, is Jolene a princess? Holy crap. Never mind. So who's the king and queen, then? Oh, please help my husband return to normal form so he can help me run the place. <laughs> Greetings, welcome to the Twilight Shop. What you need? I'm here to store because I don't want... I'll store the jam and jelly because I won't be needing that. Just yet. And I'll store... The mushroom. I think that should do it. So let's get out of here. We gotta... Well, you know, I could probably pick that up. Actually, no, no, I'm not gonna... I was tempted, but I tell you, I think we got enough... S stuff. I'm just worried about, like, there being airborne enemies. You got an email? Great. Where is this from? Probably the RDM. Yeah, oh my god, I don't want to read this. Uh, I'm not going to read that. Never mind, sorry. Sorry, guys, sorry. First I'm skipping Luigi stories, now I'm skipping those. But I'm curious, though. I'm curious. You know what? There's nothing else going on right now anyway, so... I knew I was going to fail. I knew I was going to fail to resist the temptation. The XS Express ran late for the first time in ten years today as a suspicious incident. Activated station security measures. Air youth and huge train enthusiast Lackey, age 18. As in Lackey Lester. Luxor. Found taking pictures in an employee-only area. Jeez. Uh, well, sounds like where I used to work. You say no cameras, no cameras at all. Of course, everywhere else that I went, the cameras were totally okay, but not in that pick and save boy, I tell ya. Maybe it's just the security heightened or something. I don't know, I mean, people are always paranoid about, like, being seen on camera, like, oh, I'm gonna turn up in somebody's video. How's that any different from some random person just seeing you at the mall? Like, if you, 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 people are so paranoid, like, what if somebody sees what I'm doing? Well, if people see what you're doing every single day. They see how you walk and what you're wearing and what kind of car you drive. Anybody can see that just by following you around. And yet you're worried about people on the internet who live probably like 500 miles away and you're worrying about them doing something. I'd be more worried about the people who are right there. You know, I don't know. That's just how I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit, I could have let go there, but I didn't. These Goombas, man, I tell you what. One of them's gonna shot off. Well, I, I mean, if you can dodge them, then it's not as big of a deal. But this is pretty much probably the point in the game where super dodging becomes worth it to try. Because if I understand right, 
there's like a certain window of opportunity for you to do each of the type, the two types of dodges. And the window is like half a second for a regular dodge. And then it's a quarter of a second for a super dodge. And so, like, considering that, like, at this point in the game, you're choosing between, like, if an enemy was going to do six damage to you, you'd be choosing between taking five damage or no damage at all. And your odds of, like, getting the no damage were only half as big as taking the five damage. So I'm going to go back and sleep at the end. Ugh. Am I? Yes, I am. You can never be too careful here. I really should have done. I meant to do this from the beginning, but I didn't. So I'll see you guys back where I just was in a second. Well, I guess I never really showed the inn. Refresh your body and soul at our lovely Twilight Inn. I rate it's ten coins. Will you say not? Yep, I will. This is such a nice inn. Oh, I imagined that I was right there in that bed, surrounded by the endless orange-black sky of Halloween Twilight Town. Did you sleep well? Well, have a nice twilight, and when you wake up the next morning, there's going to be a Peachy Peach over here, which is not really that great of an item. Not worth an item turn in uh, battle, but maybe something nice to have in between battles, I don't know. Just a random thing to use. Oh, don't excuse me, Mr. Piggy. Why am I talking? I'm supposed to be, like, teleporting back to where I was. You know what? I don't even care. I'm just going to keep talking. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care how much progress I make. I don't care about progress. Why do I keep hitting the same brick over and over again? <laughs> like that dad. When he said, why are you doing the same thing over and over again? It's from that Banjo-Kazooie that time. Oh, get away from me. I don't want to even fight you guys, man. You said, uh, you're probably new, though, aren't you? But uh, no new than any other pallet swap. So anyway, now that we have this new move, we can actually get up under here and do this. This is an interesting form, because, like... You can move around, that's it. you can jump as it, and you can pick up star pieces as it, and you can come out of it. You come out of the closet. And Flurry? How about it? Yeah, Flurry actually gets some use in this chapter, so, well, whoop de doo She is probably, and much as I hate to say it, she probably is the least useful partner in the game, but still, her abilities are so cool. But, like, blowing away enemies is not something... Oh, God, wait, wait, wait. Well, stay away from that. Okay, we're gonna want to make sure that we have our correct party member before we take these on. I am not a big fan of these flowers, let me tell you. I'll tell you right now, man, I'm not a big fan. Man, I don't even get the stylish, but, uh, as you see... They have enough HP to withstand your first attack, so... Then again, so do all the other enemies in this place, so it doesn't really matter. And that's why you're going to want to refill your HP, or your FP, actually, so that you could do stuff like that, you know, in a pinch, which I didn't even need to do that. I could have just taken them out one by one. Wouldn't have been that big a deal. But still, just holy crap. Oh, more coins. Lovely. There's probably invisible blocks all through here that I don't know about. I've never really looked those up to see, like, if there were more. Oh, wait, there's a question block right there. An earthquake, how about that? And I had room for it, wow. So if all else failed, you could use that, or you could use your star power. There's so many options, I mean... Yeah, you don't have to settle for less, you never do. Oh, like, see right here is probably a good place to... use an earth tremor right here. I ain't even gonna be able to do this. I ain't even about to be able to take those out in one round. So, here we go again. Doing this all through the pit of a hundred trials. Oh, man. Just barely did it. Oh. And every single point counts, I tell you, man. Six. 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 Alright. Next, we uh, followed up with uh, an earthquake. Why not? Just picked one up. Oh shit, stuff's about to fall on us. I can see it moving around back there. Ah ha ha, nice. I never remember to dodge that for some reason. But I caught it that time, and I was like, oh my god, I'm actually gonna dodge it this time, because you can see it coming. But for some reason, I just don't notice it. Hey, Luigi's in the audience amongst all the Why Why are we being cheered for by... Why are all these X-Nots cheering for us? 
I can't even imagine why they would be cheering for us, but okay. I guess in the end, everyone's, you know, just a person looking to have some fun. Just because they're on the other side of the war doesn't mean they don't have their own forms of entertainment. Stop right there. Oh, what was I going to do? Oh, I was going to check out my badges. Now, didn't I pick up a NFP Plus? Whoa, why? What, what the hell happened to all my badges? Oh, 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 wait, wait, no, 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 all badges. Oh, God, thank God. Jesus Christ. Hope that never happens again. Um, I do have an FP Plus. Yes, I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this for now. And when I gain another three, I'll take it off and replace it with the other... Oh. Um. Shit. That's spoilers. <laughs> I'm going to pick up another Power Plus badge here. And I'm going to and I'm gonna equip it. I actually am going to do that. I'm that crazy. I mean, I don't know. I, I just like being able to do tons of damage. That's, uh, that's what I like. I don't know how else to... Hmm. I don't know if this is necessarily the best move here, but... It's what I want to do. Oh, here come the trees. Ah! <laughs> oh, and it killed that guy. Sweet. All right. Attack. Ground pound. Do it. Yoshi! Yoshi! Denzel! Man on fire. Walk away from the explosion. All badass. Oh my god, you're so crazy, man. I don't even know what to tell you. Now, every just so often, you'll get attacked by a gold flower along with the others. That's a rare enemy. And I haven't been able to kill one. I think if I had that other Power Plus badge, and between that and multi-bounce, I might be able to take one out. I've been able to do, like... Oh, that's actually a good badge to have right there. Oh, man. I'm gonna make room for that one. Um, and we're gonna need Flurry again. Yeah, but those... I don't know what they give you, those gold flowers. I'm kind of hoping it's a lot of experience, but I don't know. But, uh, hmm. I haven't been able to kill one, though. I've been able to do, like, I think about 15, 16 damage to one, but then they just run away. Because if you don't kill them in the opening round, they run away. Pretty much every time. So I've tried, like, freezing them, stunning them. So nothing seems to work. Well, this is nice. Splish! Alright. This is a nice little puzzle here. Might trip you up a little bit at first, but... Go to the back, push a rock. And, uh, that's... <laughs> and for some reason, the rock in the foreground moves along with the rock in the background. Uh, don't ask me to explain. This is Nintendo logic we're talking about here. And this forest... Shit. This is the forest that you're gonna learn to... Know... Why did I bring Flurry into this fight? Can I just run away? We've already seen these enemies anyway. Except I want the star points, man! I want the star points! Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna switch my partner. And this is a cheap way to do that. Because <laughs> I don't want to miss the star points. And I'm sorry to make you guys watch this fight two times, but oh well. Mmm, yeah. This is why I like to take lots of items with me, because just this makes it way easier. Poof. And just like that, they're gone. I was expecting the trees in the background to fall on me again. Oh well, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Man, look at all these coins, man. So, that didn't waste too much time. This is the forest, though, that you're gonna get to know really well, because you're gonna be going through this thing like no less than, I think, four times. I do believe you make four trips through it. Actually, it might be more than that if you count both ways. Oh man, the weirdest thing happens here, too. This is Creepy Steeple, that nasty monster's place. This place wigs me out. Look, Gonzalez. Let's just get that crystal star. Yeah, I love how he still calls you Gonzalez, even at this point in the game. It's just cute. I don't know. It's cute. So I'm gonna save my game here. And next time... I'm just kidding. Hasn't been quite that long, has it? It's only like 11 minutes here. Maybe 12. Maybe 14. Of course, it could be 13. I don't know. Of course, it could be... Uh... Oh, it's a Shine Sprite. All right. Let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, yeah. So this is what I like to call a... A dead spiny. A very dead spiny. And trust me, what's going to happen in the next room is weird. And I don't know how much of it I'm going to show, because there are a bunch of spinies in this room that are going to all just massacre you at once here. Yeah, see? Whoa, holy crap. So if you want, you try to get the first strike on one of them, 
But the moment that the battle ends, the next one's gonna try to hit you. So unless you're ready and you remember, like, which direction you were from them or something, you're gonna have to be on your toes to get away from them if you want to get the first strike on the next group. Shit, I wasn't paying attention. Jeez. This always happens. I wish Yoshi had a multi- well, but he does have this. I don't know what the likelihood is of him hitting all three of them, though. Well, thank you, Yoshi! That could have been a lot worse. So, up and then away again. Just keep jumping and try to get away, and then hammer. And hopefully, you can get the first strike so that you don't end up in a really shitty situation. Of course, then again, hammering is not exactly the best idea. Ah, uh, normal jump, I guess. I only have 4 HP. Wait. Okay, apparently they have more than that. I don't know. We could stand one of them to attack us. We don't have to avoid this all. Jesus, man. I hate pressing that R button repeatedly. I just... Ugh. It's just so awkward. No, Dizzy! Ah, nice try. Of course, if you can manage to super dodge these guys, you don't have much to worry about, but... <laughs> They move pretty fast, though, so... Ooh, press R again, but you're just gonna miss, so it doesn't even matter. And you're not gonna miss! Alright, well, never mind. That's Denzel for you. Denzel, don't get dizzy. So get ready to run. Yeah. Ready, 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 ready to run! Ah! Shit. What is that? Tornado jump. Man, oh man, that is a lot of freaking star points you have to gain by that, but, uh... But really, to be perfectly honest, this is nothing more than a dead end. You try to push this up, but eventually you just end up at a doorway, and I don't even know why I'm still pushing it, because it doesn't matter. Because then it's just going to fall down right back on you again. <laughs> and there's no way to get through it, because we don't have Boo Mario here, so I guess, uh, lots of luck there. There's water dripping in here. The small details, just gotta love it. Either way, we didn't accomplish much there, but it looks like we can get in through here. But we're going to do that next time on Let's Play Paper Mario 2. Why? Why does it have to end? Ah, so hopefully, um... Let's see. Man, am I going to have time to edit? I don't have time to edit four videos. Whatever. So, uh... Hopefully, by the time this video goes up, I'll be just coming back from PAX, or at some... be close to coming back pretty soon. Either way. So, no worries, guys. Take care. And I'll see you next time on Let's Play Paper Mario 2. Goodbye!